you have risen through the ranks predominantly at black owned companies. That's right. Is there a conscious decision on your part to work for black owned companies? And if that is the case, do you plan to stay in these companies in, in, in the future of your career or as you get a little older, because you're still such a young man, do you plan going mainstream or setting out on your own and becoming yeah. an entrepreneur? Yeah, um, that's a great question. So I can absolutely say it was not intentional, right? I stumbled into Global Hue and that's my first kind of break in the kind of cultural marketing. Loved it. Um, you know, Jan J, I was going to work with, the average person was 45 year old white male with kids at home. I was going to an ad agency where the average age was 27 years old and we were listening to Biggie and Pac and saw some music and it was like, you know, an amazing experience. As I leave Global Hue or think about leaving Global Hue, I say, I'm never going to do black again. It's such a hard sell to try to convince white folks at the top to believe in the power of black culture and black people. And then somehow I end up at Urban One, right? <laughs> and I'm sure I'm there and I go, all right, I'm tired of this. I'm never going to do this again. And then boom, here I am at Revolt. Um, so it is absolutely true that um, I care about my people and my culture. Um, I believe it's a little bit like you see professors who go to HBCUs or PWIs. Um, neither one is better than the other. They're all just a reflective of your theory of change. Some people believe you got to go to the black school and teach our black folks and rise them up. My father was a professor for 30 years. He taught at the University of Utah. He taught white kids about black culture. His theory of change was if I teach them about black people here, they will be better leaders and better to us growing up. So it's just about your theory of change. So I would say my theory of change for the last 15 years has heavily been rooted in um, black culture, trying to make sure that the people who are responsible for creating this global culture that we love um, get the love and economic reward for their genius that they deserve. Um, I am happy right now fighting for the side of the culture um, because I think we need people on this side doing the work. You also need people on the other side um, because those people need the green light budget. So again, everybody's right. important, just different theories of change. Got you, got you. Let's go. I found a book for you if you want it. Oh, please, please. It, it's called Empowering Yourself, The Organizational Game Revealed by Harvey J. Coleman. Empowering Yourself, The Organizational Game Revealed, Harvey J. Coleman. If I remember right, it's basically a brother who was passed over for three years at Xerox, even though he was the top performing person in his department. And again, this is how he realizes it's not just merit, it's, it's these other two pieces that I haven't been playing the game with. And he decides to play the game and then finally gets the promotion. Wow. Yeah. Should, should we start reading that book first? Before? Uh, I think you can read the cliff notes on this book. Gotcha. Once you have the framework, once you have the, I think you're good. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.